Today we're going to be talking about subtracting mixed numbers with regrouping. We've already talked about subtracting mixed numbers. As an example, we can take 5 and 2 fifths, subtract 3 and 1 fifth. We'll look at the fractions first. 2 fifths minus 1 fifth is 1 fifth. 5 minus 3 is 2. 1 fifth cannot be reduced any further. It is already in simplest terms, so that's our answer, 2 and 1 fifth. Of course, it gets a little harder as we add regrouping. So our first example of subtracting mixed numbers with regrouping will be 2 and 1 fourth minus 1 and 3 fourths. Now when I look at 1 fourth minus 3 fourths, I can't do that. I have to regroup in order to have enough fourths. So I'm going to borrow 1 from my whole number 2, but I can't just take that 1 and put a little mark up by the other one because that would make it 11 fourths and that would be completely wrong. I can't do it that way. I have to get rid of that little mark up there. I have to use my one in an entirely different way when I'm working with fractions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that one and I need to figure out what fraction do I want that one to be. That one can be any kind of fraction I need it to be and in this case I need fourths. So I'm going to take that one that I borrowed, the whole number one, and I'm going to make that whole number one into four fourths. So I will add my four fourths. And of course, four fourths is equal to one. So I'm adding the one that I borrowed. I add that four fourths to my one fourth which makes 5 fourths. 5 fourths minus 3 fourths is 2 fourths. 1 minus 1 is 0. My 2 fourths is, is a correct answer, but I need to simplify it. So I'm going to divide both of them by 2. They're both even numbers, so I know I can divide them by 2. Put 2 in the top, 2 in the bottom. That 2 halves again is 1. So I'm not changing the value of my fraction, just changing the way it looks. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So my simplified answer is 1 half. Next example, 1 and 1 third minus 2 thirds. Again, I look at my fractions, 1 third minus 2 thirds can't be done. I need to borrow a whole number one. So I borrow it, make it a zero. Now I again need to think about that one that I borrowed. What fraction do I want that to be? What do I need more of? I need more thirds. So that whole number one that I borrowed is going to become three thirds, which I'm going to add to my one third. So now I have four thirds. And I can take four thirds minus two thirds and come up with two-thirds. That is simplified. Does it need to be reduced any further? So that is my answer. I want to show you one that's a little bit more complicated. It's a little bit tricky. If I take a number like the whole number two with no fraction and subtract one and one-fourth well, now it's a little trickier because I'm looking at my fractions, but there's no fraction on the top to subtract from. But I have to have a fraction there. So I'm still going to need to borrow that whole number 1 again. And again, I'm going to think about the 1 that I'm going to borrow and think about what do I need? What do I want that 1 to become? In this case, I need fourths. So that 1 is going to become 4 fourths. It's still a 1. 4 fourths minus 1 fourth is 3 fourths. There's no whole number. 1 minus 1 is 0. 3 fourths is my simplified answer. And that's just a couple of examples of subtracting mixed numbers with regrouping.